Why this interest in lab grown meats? Uh, the key is vertical integration or market control. The Good Food Institute, it's a nonprofit that works with uh, scientists and investors and entrepreneurs around plant-based food and also the cultured meats that we're talking, of, uh, talking about. Uh, maps out six elements that are required for cultured meat. Uh, cell lines, uh, cell culture media, scaffolding and structuring, uh, bioreactors and supply and distribution. These are the steps that are required to get uh, cultured meat to the market. What's important about mapping out these steps is that these are the critical technologies that are required, but they serve as lucrative intellectual property licensing opportunities. In other words, IP, intellectual property, is foundational to the supply chain and IP will become the quote-unquote guiding factor of companies' future focus and key to securing the vertical integration of supply chains. Technology is not inherently good or bad, but it does arrive with a framework. Uh, it is not launched alone. In this case, intellectual property rights are critical. And this goes back to an earlier point, agriculture. It can be a challenge to make money because of the risk. Much of the risk can be alleviated if you control the market. One way to do that is through intellectual property rights. Control of supply chains is really the ultimate aim of intellectual property, start, uh, the cell-based meat startups. 